In my pocket, I ain't pulled no more boy. Riding in the motherfucking Rolls Royce. Damn, look at Zaddy in my whole voice. Over dripping saucy, got my clothes moist. Red in my pocket, I ain't pulled no What's up, YouTube? I finally did. I finally passed the ICD one. I ain't gonna say finally, like I've been taking it and failing it. I'm gonna say finally, like I finally took the test. I finally felt like I was ready to take the test and pass it, and I passed. Hey, first shot. Um, passed the test with a score of 867. Now, let me tell you about this test. Um, going in and take the test. Well, I scheduled the test March 16th. And I guess the testing site, they canceled. Something happened, they canceled. I was like, damn, must be a sign from God. Um, let me let me go back and review for a week and set it for next Saturday on the 23rd. So I set it. I uh, went in. Um, just so much stuff was just happening. It kind of was like, oh, my God, it, it must be signs. Like, I'm going to fail this test. Anyway, so I go in and take the test. Um, 54 questions for the exam. Um, my first 10 questions was ridiculous. It was ridiculous. And I knew at that point, I was like, I'm about to fail this test. Like, I am about to fail this test. Like, I'm about to waste money and fail this test. It's crazy. So taking the test, I'm going through the questions. I'm going through the questions pretty fast until my first simulation. Now, I only got two simulation questions. And the simulation questions was basically easy. Like, I, they were so easy. I spent like two minutes on each question. So if you know your basic configurations, if you know how to set up VLANs, if you know how to make an interface, an access, or a trunk, I'm pretty sure, I ain't gonna say pretty sure, you gonna do damn good on the simulations because that's what my simulation was revolving around, um, pretty much. And I only got one subnet question, like one subnet, and it was a class B. I was like, I heard so many people talk about a class C, you know, I got this, I got a class C. Like, I know how to subnet a class C, that shit, easy. So, I got a class B subnet, and it was so far along to be asking for host and this and that. And I was like, God, let me go back. Let me double that. Let me double that. Let me double that. Um, so, yeah. Now, my main focus was to study on fundamentals, which most of the tests evolved around fundamentals uh, and evolved around switching concepts as well as the routing concepts. So that was my main focus to study on. I could care less about the license or rebooting for the password, even though I know how to do it. I just didn't focus that much on it, as well as the management. As long as I can turn uh, an unrouter into a, a DHCP server, as well as I can use an, a helper address to point into a server, I'm pretty much good on that. As well as I can um, configure NAT and access list, I'm good. And the only thing I got like maybe one or two access list questions, which was pretty simple, pretty easy too. It was, it was like a permit or deny. Um, ace those as well. But the fundamentals is what they hit hard on for me for the test. Like I got five questions of our run OSI model, as well as the TCP. I ain't gonna say I got five piece, but five questions is evolving around that. And I know I aced it because I'm like, mm, transport. <laughs> what layer three networking um it was pretty simple pretty easy um so yeah i didn't really get too much hit on stuff that i didn't know but it was just taking a test that anxiety of you know it's a hard exam people they do fail people pass um so taking a test going in and then seeing a the score of 867 i was like it's it's not a felon score <laughs> so it's which is still exciting because you know you still you still put the time in you still pass now i use the official cert guides i study with cbt nuggets as well as udemy i took as many free practice tests as i can possibly find online just to take but they never really give you any like any challenge you know it's so simple um and then i took this alpha prep i signed up for the trial for like two weeks i just used one of my old email accounts signed up for it and i took do it 
do alpha prep, has some nice questions that really prepare you for it, take that free trial, do it. And I, I took like two exams and I also took, um, I also took some quizzes. And let me show you, I still got my test score up with alpha prep. See, I made 85. And yeah, and it also breaks down what you know, what you don't know. And it takes you back in the book of the official cert guide. And you just go back and review, you go back and study on. And as long as my, my, my passing score was above 80%, they, they guarantee that you will pass. So I pass, um, this is my first video. I'm gonna switch it up. I'm gonna do so much for ICMD2. Uh, my goal is to pass that test within 30 to 45 days. Based off the knowledge that I, I, I have with Network Plus and ICND, uh, MTA, <clears throat> I know I'm gonna do well on ICND too. It's just, I'm, I'm gonna stay focused, I'm gonna read a chapter a day, I'm gonna try to do a, 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 a part like, oh, I can't think of the word, I can't think of the word, well, a section of uh, chapters within a week and I'm a lab. I'm gonna continue with CBT Nuggets, Jeremy Char, and I'm gonna get it, and I'm gonna keep y'all posted. And whoever's about to start off on ICND one and start off on ICD two, like, follow me. Like, we about to go on a journey and and pass, get our CCNA. We about to go on a journey, get our CCNP, and run the switching. We about to get our CCNA and security. We also about to do collab. We also gonna start learning Python, as well as, like, yeah, we're gonna market ourselves really, really well and go out there and land our dream jobs and networking. So, follow your boy. Hold <laughs> on.